Hi, welcome to Tech Ranch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Java game application development, Brick Breaker game. Today we are going to present you live demonstration of Brick Breaker game implemented in Java Swing graphical user interface API. Before we get into the demonstration, let's first see how to play and what are the features. This type of game, Brick Breaker game, is are of two types, basic and advanced. Here in this session, we are going to show you the demonstration on basic and a small introduction of advanced. The implementation of basic Brick Break game application is, we are going to have a frame, a J frame from the Swing API, and inside that frame, we are going to set the boundaries and there will be a different there will be a different shape of brick of wall where and there will be a bouncing ball which will hit the brick and make the brick break now bat is a kind of a flat surface where the ball will be uh, bounced back to the brick so we'll see that in the demonstration, that will be more clear. So with respect to the graphical user interface of this game, you will see we need to create a brick, which is basically a wall of brick. So we are going to have a specific number of bricks mentioned to the compiler, and that will create a different uh, size within the wall. Ball, which will bounce, and a bat, which will help balls to not to fall. And bounce up to the brick. Now this is the very basic uh, brick breaker game. Now if you see the advance you can implement speed control make it bouncing ball fast or slow or medium speed. Mention the level based on that. You can mention the score points so put the timer and the sooner the user the sooner the player can uh, complete the game and won the game you complete the game and uh, break all the bricks so these are the features you can add on in your advanced feature of this game now let's take a look at the demonstration so this is the frame you can see and inside this frame the red wall is a wall where we have the red brick which is of different size, like it is not mentioned, is it's not coming in a specific size. The number of bricks will be constant. You can just see the difference in the shape of the bricks. They have created the structure. Now this is what the bat, where when the ball, this is the ball. So when the ball is bouncing, it will not fall down. So while bouncing the ball, this will go down. So if it did not hit the bat, that means you are out. So this is the uh, feature and uh, this is the way we play this game. Now instead of these structures, you can use the images. So here I'm just using the structure using geometric API of Java and uh, paint API, paint uh, class and uh, all the 2D shapes of Java API. Now, with respect to the key control, player control, you can see this bat can move left and right using the left and right keys in the keyboard. That's the action perform you need to implement. Now let's take a look at the demonstration. This is my Eclipse ID and here is my code. So you can see here. We have used uh, J frame and action key listener for the left and right control. Brick and ball and bat has created and we use the paint. Now here if you see what all things you can change in this class and create a new game with the help of the rectangle argument. So here rectangle argument is 5 that means there will be 5 bricks. What if in case I made it 10? So there will be 10 bricks in the wall. Now let's take a look at the execution.
you lose the game because the ball fall down let's play so you see using left and right i can move this bat using the bat ball will bounce again here you go and you won the game now let's take a look at the advanced brick break the advanced brick break will have more controls and you can change the size and uh, levels and speed of the ball you have more controls like pause and then play and restart and speed of ball can be coded hard coded if you see the code in mention the level 1 level 2 level 3 and based on that you can change it and make it more complicated so since i mentioned color of bricks level 1 i can change it to So if you see now I have changed level 2 there will be more complicated and fast and different structure you see the logic is when the ball hit on the brick the bra the number of bricks will reduce and when it is zero that means you have won the game and the animation was maintained in the coordinate base so we have to mention uh, pass the argument with the coordinates variables so based on that the animation on the ball hitting in the breaking creating a break of wall is happening with the help of coordinates game over addition of basic and advanced brick breaker game application implemented in java swing graphical user interface api for more questions concerns source code please feel free to contact the crunch 2019 at gmail.com thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to our channel do like the video if you love it share it with your friends who is in the need thank you so much let's make coding fun